everybody. I want to talk about getting set up with um, a Unity project from the Unity Hub, following a project from the Unity site to getting it installed, putting it in the right location, and tracking it on Git version control. I've been kind of walking through my students. I want to kind of do it, try to do it as quickly as I can. Uh, you need Unity Hub installed. I'm going to talk about the software you need installed as I'm going. This is not, it's going to assume you have everything you need installed. If you need to, you can find it somewhere else. I'm going to click on Learn, and I'm going to use one of the Creator Kits. And so I'm going to use Creator Kit RPG for this particular one. I'm going to download it, and then before I open it, I'm going to click View Tutorials so I have it on here. I'm going to want to log into my Unity account to track it on here says I'm already there, it must have recognized me from the last time, and now I'm gonna open the project. So this will take a while, so I'm gonna pause the video while it does it. Oh, before I do, please pay careful attention to which version of Unity you are using to open this. It's gonna make things a lot easier. I don't know what's going on. You may get one of these Unity Editor update checks popping open. Uh, I don't always get that. On one of my other computers, I don't. So we'll see what happens when it's done loading, if that just goes away or if it stays up. And then I'll talk about what that's about. Okay, we're in. Um, yeah, so we're still in using Unity 2019.1.14. So check to see which version of Unity you're using. That's going to be important here. But you see, should see Creator Kit. Now, it probably depends on which Creator Kit you're using. This RPG definitely uses this version. So I'm good on here. But what I'm going to do is at this point, I'm just going to close it. Um, and the reason why is if I do a file save as, and we're going to look here, you're going to see we're under app data local temp and this big long folder. You're not going to remember how to get there. That is a real pain to get there. So I'm going to click cancel here and I'm just going to close it. And here's the important part. Keep project. Now, if it asks you to save, you just don't save or you could, well, I would say don't save. And then when you're done, click keep. So this is an important step to do without doing any editing to your project. So go ahead and click keep. Now what you want to do is you want to save it to a folder. So it's on the keep step that is the important one. So go to documents. I see I'm in Unity Projects. So I'm going to give a, I'm in the right folder, but I recommend you do that. Click on documents if you're on Windows or find a folder if you're on a Mac or Linux where find one that's like a common place, but then store all of your Unity projects in one location. So I see it's there. Um, I can see other games and that's okay. So we're going to call this uh, RPG Creator Kit. And I'm going to click OK. And now it just closes. So the key here is this idea of what version of Unity. So when I'm ready um, and I want to view it again, I'm just going to double click and open that version of Unity I used. Notice Unity Hub pops open and I can see RPG Creator Kit. If I had just gone to the Unity Hub, let's see, I may or may not see it. And that's why it was important to open the version of Unity. Um, let's just see if from here on out I can just go to Unity Hub and have that work. And so I'm just testing, just for purposes. And it's still there, so that's good. It, it may or may not have worked, but if it didn't work, open the Unity version first. Then it should pop open Unity Hub, and now we can go ahead and click it. All right, so that was an important step, but we're not on version control. So I'm going to walk you through the next couple of steps here. So before you do any work on it, what I would like you to do is if you don't already have a GitHub account, go ahead and go to GitHub and get a free account. And then once you have your free account, just log in and then uh, just hang tight. Uh, we're going to come back and do something with it. So we're going to go back here and I just want to show you you want to log into Unity on the tutorial, go ahead and start it. We've already done some of this, so we're going to go get started on the Creator Kit and it's set up the Unity Editor. We've already done it. Uh, and we're about step two. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Update Unity. If you had the right version of Unity, you can mark it as complete. If you didn't, it prompted you to download it, so just follow those instructions. I've already done that. I'm marking it as complete. Um, download the Creator Kit. We already did that. So, and then this step here, don't do that. Just close it and keep it. Because this is going to save it, but it's going to be saved in that app data. I don't think that's a good place to save it. So I'm just going to mark it as complete. 
Um, and now we're going to stop here and we're going to move on to Git. So at this point here, I want to open the folder and I want to go ahead and get uh, find that Unity projects. And I want to open up the uh, RPG Creator Kit. So this is the one I'm going to be working on. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose Git Bash here. You need to have Git installed, um, so make sure you install it. You should see the folder that you're in. You want to check to make sure that's there, and then it's git init, G-I-T space I-N-I-T, hit enter, take a look. I can see this hidden folder now, that's there. Now what we're going to do is we are going to use git to create a git ignore file. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go back to the browser, we're going to open a new tab, and I want you to type unity git ignore. It kind of pops up as you do it. I'm going to go follow this first link. We're going to see this is it. We're going to click raw. And I'm going to do control A, control C. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to type Vim. This opens up the Vim editor. Welcome everyone to the Vim editor. If you've never done this before, have fun. First thing we need to do is go into insert mode. We're going to type the letter S. See how it now at the bottom here it says insert. It's very important here. And I'm just going to right click and do a shift insert. Oh, sorry. Paste is what I wanted to do. Okay, let me just backspace. Still in insert mode. I'm going to right click and paste. Okay, I'm going to go back here. Control A, Control C, Alt Tab, backspace out of there. And now I'm going to try the paste. There we go. All right. Uh, I'm going to add my own little thing. I'm going to put hide any ginormous mouse PD or no uh, PSD files. I've had some assets that include PSD files. You want to ignore those. So you're just going to put star dot PSD. Now I want to get out of insert mode. So I hit escape and I'm going to put colon. You type right Q for right quit space dot get ignore. Very important that you follow exactly. It's colon wq space dot get ignore. Hit enter and then uh, I want you to go take a look at your folder and you see here I have a get ignore file. Uh, if you're not seeing it, it doesn't mean you don't have it. You might see something that says application. So what you may want to do is click on view and uh, make sure this file name extensions is checked and hidden, not, hidden items is checked. Because if it's not, this is what you'll see. Let's go out of folder and back in a folder. Oh, you do. Oh, that's we have a problem with that one. It says it's a text document. OK, we don't want that. Let me try a quick thing here. Get status. Oh, get ignore is working. So I think we're OK. But I'm going to go ahead and file name extensions, hidden items. Get back in there. OK, as long as you see the got dot get ignore, we're good. So you might want to type git status. It just tells you what's up. Anything red means it, it's not tracked in any way, shape, or form. So we're going to type git add dot git ignore. Now I'm going to type git status. And now you can see in green is the new file git ignore. So now we're going to do a git commit dash m adding git ignore. Hit enter. This commits it and adds a little message so you can remember what it is. You got to write exactly as you see here. What you have in quotation marks could be a little different, and that won't change the way it works. Now we're going to do a get status, and you'll notice we don't have that green git ignore anymore. We just have the red stuff. Now I want you to do a git add dot that adds everything, and this is going to take a little longer. And then we're going to do a commit. Notice we got all these warnings. Don't worry about, about them. It has to do with the fact of uh, the way the text files are set up. As long as it's a warning, we're OK. I'm going to do a get status. Everything should be green now. And you'll see all the files that are being tracked. Anything that was on the git ignore file is not showing up on here. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to do a git commit again, dash m, um, adding starter files, git. 
commit. All right, so now everything's uh, ready to go, get status, everything looks good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to GitHub. I'm gonna click on new. I'm gonna create a new repository. So click the plus sign, you gotta have your account, you need to be signed in. New repository, this is gonna be public. And we're gonna call this Unity uh, RPG Creator Kit Project. Now, um, when it's done, it gives you this little thing with dashes because it will not like spaces. So they're going to create a repository to back it up, keep it public. You can add a description if you want. Do not check and do either of these. Just click create repository. So the only two, you got to do this. This is optional. Keep it public. If you're one of my students, make it private if you want to hide it. But if you're one of my students, it needs to be public. Go ahead and create it. And then you're going to follow these commands. So you can just click copy this. And notice it has git remote add origin is the name of this online repository. It's just like a keyword to describe it. And this is the actual address of where it's at. Git push you origin master is going to take my changes and send them up. So I'm just going to right click and paste. Notice the first command gets run, which is remote add origin. And then the second one right here, just hit enter. It may or may not ask for a password. Uh, it shouldn't, but if it does, just, it's going to be the password to your GitHub site just to log into the GitHub. And if, if it does ask you for it, type it in, and then um, it should remember it from here on out. Now, uh, we're going to go over here. I'm going to hit refresh. And at this point, it should be done. All right, so this is the what's called the master branch. And so uh, what I always like to do is create a new branch. So I'm going to type uh, git branch dash b, I think it is. I'm going to have a new one, and we'll call it dev. Nope, I did it wrong. Git um, checkout dash b dev. There we go. It's, so it's git checkout dash b stands for new branch. Dev is the name of the branch. And I'll do git branch. And you can see there's now dev and master. Now I'm going to do a git push origin dev. And this is going to put my push my dev branch to the origin. So you'll see two branches when it's done. So if you click on here, you click refresh, you can see two branches. Two commits. These are the commits. So if we add the get, add and get ignore, we can click it and we can see that's our get ignore file. And it's the all new commands. We can go back to the project, click commits. You can click adding starter files and it shows you a list of all the files that were created. Some they'll show you all the details, some they'll hide it. And at this point, you are done. You've now backed it up. So stay tuned on for further tutorials as we go through the Unity RPG Creator Kit project to show you what you can do with it. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.